Hey y'all, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about one specific tool in Lightburn and how you can use it and make your design process a whole lot easier. Sometimes you don't even have to think so much when you use a tool like this. It's the Lightburn's Rotate and Scale tool. You've seen me use this function quite a bit in my design videos. It's the Control 2 for the keyboard shortcut. It's in the Arrange menu, we'll show you that. But if you notice this, this is how much time I've got left to show you how to use this tool. We're not going to be doing any actual designs, just showing you the functionality of this tool, how it works, and then I'd love to hear from you in, your com in the comments on how you use this tool or how you could use this tool to improve your designs. So let's not waste any more of that and jump over here to Lightburn and get to designing. So as you hear me say all the time, there's always another way you and and as I was told Yahoo you always have other options I'm gonna grab my polygon tool and I'm gonna draw out a polygon then I don't want that one I want some random number of sides so if I hit my control button I get that little purple dot to pop up and now I can use that to start scaling over and you know what I think I want that right there I don't know what that is but that's what I want and I want to put a perfect square right here aligned to this line on this polygon. Now, I can do that a bunch of different ways. I can use my measurement tool to come over here and measure the, the segment length. It's 56.9 and it's 65 and a half degrees angle. So 56.9, so I could draw out a perfect square and tell it to be 56, what did I say? I forgot what it was now. It's 56.9, 56.9. With the aspect ratio locked, 56.9, enter. Now I've got that, and it was what, 65 and a half degrees? Yep, 65 and a half degrees, I need to rotate that. 65 and a half degrees. And now I can grab that corner and put it right there. And that lines up just fine. Easy peasy. Except I forgot what the size was twice. I had to go back and find the angle. I had to do... Time's a ticking. So let's see how much easier it can be done with the two-point rotation and scale tool. So if I've got this random shape, and I'm going to just change this right now. In fact, I'm going to do... A different number of sides we'll do we'll do that and I don't so now I don't have any idea what that is but I know I want a perfect square over here so all I'm gonna do is come right here to that corner that's where I want it to be anchored on one of those corners from here to here so now if I just come right there and start drawing a perfect square of any size then come over here and I need to get that to the right size and the right angle hit the control 2 for the keyboard shortcut or if you go to the arrange menu it's right here two point rotate and scale control 2 then you get instructions right down here at the bottom it tells you select the first point the center of rotation so this is the first point right here I'm gonna left click and then it tells you click and drag the second point where you will rotate from. So I'm gonna come over here to this corner and I'm clicking and holding it. And as you start to see, it will rotate from that first point. That's why it's the rotate point, it rotates from that point. But now I can drag this out here to that corner and say, okay, well, that's the exact angle I want, but it's not scaling. It's not the right size square. All you got to do is hit one more button. You are left clicking and using your trackball to roll the mouse around. But if you just get it where you want, or you don't even have to get it where you want. If you just hold shift, now you have a live active scaling function that's going to scale with you as you rotate. So now you're just holding shift, drag it out to that corner release and you've got everything aligned perfectly that was a whole lot easier and a whole lot faster than having to go grab my measurement tool what size was it what was my angle of rotation and look i did it with time to spare so this is a really quick and easy demonstration of how to put p 
pieces together, but it's not just with shapes. We got some time left, so look at what we can do with fonts. I want to do... We'll do that. And let's do... Hobo. And I'm doing three different lines of text because I'm going to be controlling them individually. I'm going to do hobo with wood. And I want to bring... I'll grab wood since it's going to be in the way of hobo. I want to bring wood over here and have it lined up. Oh, got to grab the corner of the D there. I want it to be right there on that corner. So if that's going to be my anchor point, I'm going to hit Control 2, anchor that in right there, and then I want to grab my W and hold the left click button, but you see now it's rotated, there's the right angle, but now I'm going to hold Shift along with it, and I can scale that at the same time, and I'm looking for where the top of that W would be kind of in line with the corner of my piece. And I'm just eyeballing it, just what looks good. And I think right about there is going to look good. Now I'm going to grab the width, hobo with width. Now since this one's right on the very top, I do not need to change my angle of rotation, but I do need to scale it up. Not holding control, just bring that up and I'll bring that to right there and we'll make it a little bit smaller right about there now let's grab hobo and do the same thing in reverse with the hobo and put the corner of the H right on that corner control 2 select my first point come over here and get the middle of my O right there hold shift and scroll that out and I'm looking for where the O lines up with about the corner of that and that looks good right there. So I just eyeballed that and put the text right around that polygon and they're all going to be similar shapes and similar font sizes. If I look here that font size 4287 4693 so if I change that 4287 and then align it or just I'm sorry, uh, arrange it vertically, there we go, to the top of that line, and then that was 4287, 4287. What did that one be? Let's make it 4287. And that got that off there, but all I gotta do is grab that corner of that D. I'm not changing my angle, so I'm pop it right there. And now they are all the same size font, and they're all aligned on those angles and I still got time to spare. I'm Steve, Hobo with Wood. Let me know in the comments how you can use Control 2 Rotate and Scale to help you in your design process. Do you already use it? How do you use it? And if not, can you find ways to implement this in your design process? Let me know. I'm Steve, Hobo with Wood, and this has been a dive into Lightburn. I'll see you in the next video.